The electric car ruled the road early in the 20th century, and then the technology was surpassed by gas. Today, the concept is cruising towards a comeback, its resurgence fueled by concerns about pollution from gas-powered vehicles and by worries about overdependence on foreign oil. This sassy-looking sports car is leading the charge for change. Just plug it into any electrical outlet, and after a few hours, it has enough juice for a drive through the countryside or for quite a few jaunts around town. With no tailpipe, there are no direct emissions, and if the power generated by the electrical plant is clean, everyone breathes a little easier. But with a price tag in the six-figure range, this eco-friendly roadster is a luxury product. Production begins with the first half of the gearbox. A worker bolts a brass fitting to the center and then attaches plastic tubing to it. The tubing will deliver lubricant to the transmission's bearings. He inserts those bearings into slots in the gearbox and presses them into place using a hydraulic tool. He drips thread locking compound into screw holes and installs a device for locking the transmission. It's called the parking pawl. He applies more adhesive to screws and threads them through the pawl to the gearbox. Using a calibrated torque wrench, he tightens them to a precise setting. The transmission is single speed with four gears, which they install in the other half of the gearbox. These are helical gears. Their teeth are cut at an angle for gradual engagement and smooth operation. They're now ready for the rotor and the stator. Both are electromagnets, and together, they'll be the electric motor's driving force. They insert the rotor into the stator, where their two electromagnetic fields will interact to create torque, transforming electrical energy into mechanical energy. They hoist the rotor and stator assembly onto the gearbox and bolt them together. They attach cables for wiring the motor to the power electronics module later. It's a crucial part that processes and regulates the flow of battery power to the motor. This completes the electric motor drivetrain. They lower the drivetrain into the back of the pre-assembled car body. They position the motor mounts over slots in the steel subframe. And once in place, they bolt the drivetrain to the chassis. Now under the car, they pull back the rear suspension temporarily to attach the drive axle to the gearbox. The axle is equipped with a rubber encased joint that allows a rear wheel to react to bumps independently without reverberation to the other. The battery is next. Seen here in a display model of the powertrain, the metal pack contains more than 6,800 lithium-ion cells and delivers 215 kilowatts of power, enough juice to enable this electric car to accelerate to 60 miles an hour in under four seconds. Machinery now lowers the car onto the battery, positioning it in the front of the gearbox and just behind the car seats. They jack up the battery for a precision fit they connect wiring for low voltage systems like the lights and fans. And now the brains of the electric car, the power electronics module. They install it on top of the motor and battery and wire it to both. With all the wires connected, the module is equipped to convert DC power from the battery to the AC power. It will then supply that current to the motor as the driver steps on the accelerator. With the vacuum system, they drain air from the battery and pump in liquid coolant. Coolant continuously flows through the battery to maintain an even temperature throughout. The body panels are made of durable, lightweight carbon fiber. And with the computer software updated and the car now completely assembled, it's time for a test run. As this sports car accelerates, there's no throaty roar. Unlike a gas-powered engine, the electric motor takes off quietly and quickly.